Hey everyone and welcome to my craft room. Uh, my name's Julianne Richards and I'm an independent stamping up demonstrator in southern Tasmania. Uh, forgive the lights I've got going on here at the moment. Um, just uh, decided to get really really dark on me really really fast and I did want to get this um, this uh, card shared and uh, made and showed with you so I sort of put on some lights and we'll see how that goes. I'm just checking that my iPad is working. I've got some sound happening. Yep, so I do. Okay, so I'm going to move these things out of the glare as quickly as I possibly can, but I just wanted to show you the stamp set that we're using today is the Prized Peony stamp set, which is in the new 2020-21 uh, annual catalogue from Stamping Up. It's a really lovely image. Um, you can see there with lots and lots of detail this main one and sort of little um, sort of other peonies as well which are really really lovely and we're going to sort of be really nice to colour I should think some beautiful sentiments love and thanks my thoughts are with you your friend your sweet friendship refreshes the soul and sorry for your loss so it's those sort of um, sort of floral sentiments sort of um, yeah, sort of serious sentiments we're going for there, but it really is beautiful. Um, the penny stamp set comes with a die set here. I'll just move that out of the way so it doesn't glint. Um, and if you count, if you um, judge your die sets by the number of dies you get to see if you get good value, you have a look there. There are many, many, many dies there, so that's a really good value. Um, they do actually have here these ones here um, here these uh, there's one two three four five of them go together to make a beautiful 3d peony flower so I haven't had a play with those yet as you can see I've only just opened the die set um, for this particular card so it's very new for me at the moment so I will be having a play very soon so watch out for videos featuring that lovely 3d flower um, but at the moment I'm only using one die for this particular card and it happens to be this border edge here. So I don't actually touch any of the flowers at all but uh, um, as I say watch future videos I'm sure I'll um, share some of those with you. So there's the die set. So together the die set and the, um, the stamp set are the bundle which you can buy together and save 10% on the individual price. The suite also has some glorious sort of um, embellishments that go with it. This particular, and actually it's probably a good thing to look at these in this particular light because they are particularly dazzling. There's some beautiful gilded uh, faceted gems here and they are in really unusual colours. I, I think this middle one would almost be a petal pink colour, sort of a very um, sort of subtle pink. There's an opaque one and a clear one. And they are really, really lovely. So I will feature some of those on my card today as well. And there's also this wonderful ribbon, which I'll also use today. Um, it's a, a, um, a grey granite um, sort of rib, uh, glossy ribbon. It did say here what it was, shimmer ribbon. And as you can see, probably good to see in this light as well. It definitely has a real shimmer to it. So we've got the embellishments. We've got the cards, um, the stamp set, the dies, the ribbon. Um, and I think the major uh, winner from this suite is the designer series paper, um, which is absolutely glorious. Um, these are just some bits I've got left over. You can see I've gone absolutely crazy with the designer series paper, but it is lovely. The colours are grey granite, um, bay, uh, grey, grey granite, petal pink and basic grey. So it is lovely pa floral paper. It's got some nice sort of soft, subtle images there. I think you could probably colour them in if you wanted to, but um, it's it's really, really, really a nice a nice paper. So watch for that as well. That's going to be getting a bit of a bit of a play over the next few months. So um, let's have a bit of a go at this card. I, I have sort of made this card in my brain, but I haven't actually made it in person yet. So. <clears throat> Let's just see how it turns out and whether we can stand this particular um, glare from this uh, this light I've got happening. And I suppose we are at a shorter stay at the solstice, so things do get very dark very quickly here in southern Tasmania. Anyway, so to start with this card, I have a panel of... I'll just sit down. I have a panel of um, grey granite cardstock as my card base. 
it's uh, eight and a quarter inches by five and three quarter inches and I've scored it in the middle to make a standard uh, A or C6, A6 card base. Um, to go with that I have a panel of Whisper White which is cut an eighth of an inch small. Oh no, actually this is a quarter of an inch smaller. So you've got a slightly larger than normal um, border of the grey granite showing around the edge there. So that's probably a half a centimetre smaller all round. Then I've got a beautiful piece of the designer series paper. It's very hard to choose which side you want to use, but I'm going to go for this one with the, uh, the granite, the grey granite, or yeah, with the grey granite flowers on it. Um, and that's cut an eighth of an inch smaller than the Whisper White. So you've only got a very small border of the Whisper White showing through the edge there. Okay, so that's the basis of the card. Got another panel of Whisper White for the inside, obviously. Um, and I have this here. So now, as I said, I have used the dies, the border die from the set. I'll just get that back and show you again. So this border die is quite sweet. It gives it a sort of a lacy, um, scalloped edge. Here we go. So this is the, the die here. So I've got a piece of uh, Whisper White cardstock and I cut it to, and I've got to remember now, I'll bring my ruler in. It's exactly the same width as the designer series paper. So it's um, three and three quarters inches uh, uh, wide. I suppose that's high actually and long it's um, it would have been about four and four and a half inches long but then I've cut it with the die so I've popped it through my die cutting machine with the die firstly at this end and then at that end just to give us a scalloped look and it has got a very light um, embossing as well with a little sort of um, swirl in there so I don't know if you can see it in this light probably bad for that sort of detail but you get this little scalloped sort of um, panel here what I'm going to do is put that onto our card just there like that so slightly off center so you can see a little bit more of the, the designer series paper on one side than the other and I'm going to actually stamp one of the, be the beautiful peony on there okay so let's do that so we'll put everything else aside. So I've got my grey granite ink and I'm just going to stamp my peony. Actually, I might do my sentiment first. I'm going to use the love and thanks to a dear friend sentiment. Just want to make sure, as I say, I haven't made this card actually um, physically yet. I've made it in my head. I just don't know where I'm going to put the so I put the peony there and the sentiment should be in the top right hand corner. So I'm going to pop the sentiment in the top right hand corner. Just bring it down a little bit so I can get it straight. Just bear with me. The shadows are a little bit difficult. So I'm going to take my glasses off. Love and thanks to a dear friend there. Okay, and then in the same grey, uh, yeah, grey granite ink, I'm going to bring in my peony rose, and I'm going to bring that just so it kisses that slightly, goes a little bit higher there. I'll draw on it there. Tricky. Maybe I should have had a practice of this before I started my video, but hey, let's do it there. Okay, that's perfect. That's fine. I like that. Okay, so there is our peony. Now, I was going to colour that in, but I don't know if I want to now. I was going to colour that in with some greys. Let's have a little look. Put it on here and see. give it a go and then I can always come back to it and turn it over if I don't like the look can't I so I've got the grey here which is the smoky slate oh I don't know that's quite beautiful the way it is let me have a look pop that aside for a minute I'm going to just grab a 
extra piece of whisper wire. I'm going to stamp it again. There you go. See if I like that. Coloured in. See, I think that's just beautiful the way it is. So let's have a little look. This is the um, dark smoky slate. So just where the shadows would be. Mm. Maybe just leave it with the light. Mm. It's a slightly different colour, so it's not looking the way I think it would look. So I might leave it actually. I'm going to leave it on my original. I'm just going to leave it like that. Okay, so that's fine. That's our that's our image there. What I'm going to do is bring the ribbon in. So I'm going to put the ribbon. So I might just pop that aside for a minute. I'm going to glue the designer series paper onto our whisper white. My glue will come out. Just like that. And then I'll bring in my ribbon. So I've got the ribbon cut into two lengths. One that just is the length of our card. Because this is a, port a landscape card rather than a portrait card. I'm going to bring in some double sided tape. And I want the ribbon halfway up the side of the card. to the other side, line that up again. I'm just using my grid paper to sort of line up where halfway is just so I don't have to trust my own eyes. So grid paper is very handy for that. If you don't use it in your craft room, I suggest you get hold of some. Of course the cutting mats often have grids on them but you don't like to keep them dry or keep them clean anyway. Okay, so I've got that ribbon there. What I then was going, I probably better We'll then pop this onto our card base. Okay, just like that. That's so pretty. Love those colours. Just like that. I'll bring this down. Excuse my wibble a little bit. I'm going to bring my camera down a little bit. I'm sort of a little bit low on the screen there okay so I'm going to do and then I thought I've got this other length of ribbon I thought I would tie a bow so I'm going to pop when I assemble this that little panel will be over to one side there so there'll be a gap here so this is where I'm going to have my bow so I wondered whether maybe if I could tie it here so around the thing the, the ribbon that I've already placed I'm not a big bow tire, anyone who's watched me will realise that bows and I have an uneasy truce. And my puppy dog has decided it's tea time as well, so it wasn't a good time to get on to make a video. Okay, I'm happy with that, that's worked out quite well. We'll trim that off with my paper snips, my snips. Just a little bit from that end as well. Okay, so that's quite nice that bow. And then this 
piece is going to sit there so it lines up exactly with the bottom and top of the designer series paper so you don't actually see any gap of designer series paper you just see the um, the backing white okay so I'll pop that on as well oh, I like that um, dimensionals or not dimensionals that is a question probably on dimensionals for a bit of height in the middle too it's all dimensionaled out that one that is that lovely then I will bring in some of these glorious um, faceted gems I think I'm going to use the opaque ones I think they will be lovely now the question of how many do you use the argument is do you use two do you always use odd numbers that's the big question there I will use three because I usually do. Yes, that's lovely. That is lovely. Last one. Okay, here we are. That's just really simple and really, um, just really elegant. I really like that. That ribbon is glorious. Okay, and we've got a bit of bling happening with the with the the scent with the um, faceted gems as well. So we'll just pop the panel on the inside. Actually stamp this with one of the other little sentiments we have a little images from the stamp set um, let's have a look so we have a sort of a more open um, peony there and another little um, sort of smaller version of the, that one there so I might use this slightly larger one also new you can see I haven't even taken it off the paper backing yet I'm going to also use the grey granite I'm going to stamp it off a few times so that it's just a very faint stamp stamp it first let's just have a look at that yes that's nice get it up the right way Another sentiment from the set. Um, what have we said? Love and thanks, dear friend. Um, your sweet friendship refreshes the soul. Your, my thoughts are with you. Love and no love and thanks. Here, your sweet friendship refreshes the soul. Right. And this one I'll just do in full strength grey granite. I should put the sticker on this one so I don't go off. I can tell it's a very, 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 very new stamp set for me. So just to show you how to do this if you haven't actually done these stickers before, you take the, um, the double sided um, off the back, the, the little door panel off the dot back, line up your stamp with the edges of the um, backing paper and just pull off so then you get your stamp in the right position 
so you don't have to muck around with it so there you are so now I can actually line that up properly with my paper so okay your sweet friendship refreshes the soul and I'm going to pop that as I said full strength just in the middle of that beautiful peony mm, I don't like that it doesn't show up enough Eek! all right I'm gonna to have to go over it again except I haven't got another panel I can use this one no oh well that's fine I sure probably should have if I was doing it again I would actually stamp that peony off again another time to make it even um, uh, even uh, fainter and then put the, um, the the sentiment on full strength but um, I haven't got any other paper cut so I won't I won't do that right now but anyway the highlight of this one is the front I think you'll agree that's really really special so that's the grey granite ink um, on the stamp a sentiment from the set and this beautiful um, scalloped border and the paper which is absolutely to die for um, so I hope you enjoyed that one that is a beautiful stamp set it really is worth investing in um, the whole suite is absolutely glorious so with the faceted gems and the ribbon and the paper it's definitely um, a must-have out of the current catalogue um, if you uh, live in Australia and don't have a current um, demonstrator I'd be happy to help you out with all these products if you just pop over to my business Facebook page which would be which will be in the in the description of this video and um, drop me a line through Facebook I'm happy to help you out um, if you um, would like to just subscribe to this to my youtube channel so you don't miss any future videos that would be really appreciated um, and uh, as i say um, it's been great to be with you such a wonderful stamp set and um, i will be with you all next time